going on guys and in this video what we're doing is going over open beta 67 patch notes for paladins uh if you watched my open beta 66 hotfix notes which i'll probably link in the description if you haven't or you can just go to my last video it was probably uploaded like an hour or two ago uh, i went over the hotfix notes for patch 66 open beta 66 which is the current patch on paladin so if you go and log in paladins right now you'll have all the updates that happened and the hotfix notes for open beta 66 However, Open Beta 67 will be dropping March 7th uh, on PC, and I think March 14th for console, but I'm not quite sure. There is a lot, and I mean a lot of updates in this patch, so this is going to be a longer video for our Paladins patch notes, but there's a lot of stuff to cover. First things first, Cards Unbound's gone. I already stated that before in previous videos, and what they're doing is kind of combining the old system with a newer easier system so we get the old point system that everybody liked and now paladins is like 400 percent less grindy like i'll explain it later we'll get into the details but you do not have to grind like it's crazy <laughs> we're just gonna start uh first of all cards unbound no longer players will receive gold and vip points for extra copies of cards from the unbound system so if you've been grinding this whole time and you have level 10 copies of cards, you're going to get rewarded big time with some gold and VIP points for all of the hard work that you put in. Players now have all loadout, car loadout cards unlocked from the start, and players now have 5 levels instead of 10, or cards have 5 levels instead of 10. So no longer up to level 10, we're at level 5 cap, and everybody has a card. So remember in OB66, they gave everybody a copy of a card, and in the previous system, you had to earn your cards. Well, now they're giving you all the cards, like Cards Unbound, and we get the point system. So, less grindy already, and players will create their loadouts with the 15-point system. I think it was a 12-point system before. I'm not positive, but I think that's what it was. So, we get a couple more points. Develop for comments. With the removal of Cards Unbound, we'll be... Uh, we're not going to go through all that. You can read that if you want. Following chests have been removed from the game. I already went over this as well. No more Radiant Chests. No more champion chests and no more legendary champion chests. I know these two chests literally just got into the game about two weeks ago and they're already gone. Uh, and radiant chests are gone as well. You can no longer acquire cards and chests. The only two chests that are available are the gold chest and the diamond chest. And both of those are strictly skin chests. Players will receive the following for each card duplicate they have acquired. So you get 625 gold per duplicate. That's, that's a lot. So if you have like level 10s of every card... Oh my god. Uh, as a bonus, players will receive the following for each card duplicate they have acquired. 40 VIP points. Okay, so... Alright, so players will receive the following for each card duplicate they have acquired. And you get the bonus for each card... So does that mean you get 650 or 625 gold and 40 VIP points? I guess that's awesome. So you get all of that for each card duplicate. That's crazy. Players will receive the following for each chest in their inventory. So each radiant chest, you get 2,500 gold. This is what I was saying before uh, in my other video that I just posted. If you have chest, radiant chest, I wouldn't open them because you're going to get a copy of each card anyway with the new system. There's no more leveling cards. So what's the point of opening those radiant chests? Your best bet is to hold on to them and just get compensated for gold when this patch actually drops. So I have a Radiant Chest in my inventory and I'm just not going to get open it. Because, let's say best case scenario, I open that Radiant Chest and I get a really good card duplicate. That card duplicate is going to be pointless in a week anyway. So, Champion Chest gets 7,500 gold for each one. And players will receive 11,160 VIP points per chest purchased with VIP points. Wow, so you're going to be compensated a lot for that as well. VIP tier rewards. All Radiant Chests are being removed and replaced with Gold Chest. So Tier 1 through 5 is just Gold Chest now instead of Radiant. Twitch Prime rewards. The 5 Radiant Chests previously rewarded through Twitch Prime will become 5 Gold Chests instead. Those who receive Radiant Chests in the past will be compensated as discussed above. So Daily Login rewards. The Day 7, 14, 21, and 28 rewards are being changed from 1 Radiant Chest to 25 Crystals instead. Strix uh, Bundle Refund and the Terminus Bundle Refund. So what they're doing with this is no more skin bundles. 
every skin that's in Paladins is now in the gold chest and the diamond chest. That's the only way to get skins. So if you have purchased one of these two bundles, what they're going to do is give you 300 crystals back for the Strix bundle and 200 crystals back for the Terminus bundle. You get to keep the skin, but what this is doing is basically making it so you have purchased a diamond chest or a gold chest and you got one of these skins. So let's say you purchase a gold chest or a diamond chest for 300 crystals and you get the Strix skin. Well, that's what it would be. So what they're doing is they're just giving you the 300 crystals back that you that came with the bundle. So when you bought the bundle, you got the skin and you got some radiant chests. So what they're doing is they're letting you keep the skin and they're giving you some crystals because there were radiant chests in there. They're not doing radiant chests anymore and the skin bundle was a stupid idea. They even admitted that they regret it. So you get 300 crystals if it was purchased with crystals, but you also get VIP points if you purchased it with VIP points. So however you, you know, acquired that, you get your currency back or at least some of the currency. The following bundles have been removed. Realm pack and VIP pack. These are still available as of right now, March 1st, um, but coming March 7th, when this patch drops, you will not be able to buy these anymore. Uh, the VIP pack is I think $15 and the realm pack is $5. You get a mount with this one, you get a conqueror Zen skin with this one and a bunch of other stuff, including some radiant chests. So <clears throat> champions, champions priced at 5,000 gold and 150 crystals is now 15,000 gold and hundred crystals champions priced at 7,500 and 200. You can read all that. So basically what they're doing is since you're, there's no more radiant chest, you're going to have more of an abundance of gold. Uh, so they're making champions purchased with gold more expensive. Um, and then actually they're changing it a bit here. So it's less expensive for crystals on the lower tier champions. It's the same on the mid tier, but it's a little more expensive on the higher tier. Um, but of course, if you have the champions pack, this doesn't apply to you. Voice packs, all champion voice packs used to be 7,125 gold or 25 crystals. Same amount of crystals, but now they're doubling the price for the gold. And I know a lot of people are going to be mad at this saying, oh, why would you do that? But keep in mind, you're going to have a lot more gold in hand than you do right now because you're going to be compensated for all the radiant chests and all the stuff that's happened in previous Paladins. Mastery Cosmetics. This is the stuff I was excited for and the leveling system. I'll give you a spoiler alert right now. You level your champion about 400 times faster. It's insane. We'll get into the details in a little bit, but there's no more grind for this game. So Mastery Sprays. Um, used to be the changes here, the crystals, whoa, let's look at the cosmic skins real quick. 2,500 gold and 200 crystals has changed to 40,000 gold and only 60 crystals. So 60 crystals across the board for all of this, for the sprays, the emotes, poses, skins. Obviously the gold's going up a little bit, but crystals are getting decreased big time, especially for the obsidian and the cosmetics, or the cosmic, sorry. Gameplay systems. So the card point system, this is what we were getting into earlier. All players have access to the all loadout cards. So everyone has all the legendary cards, all the loadout cards, all that. Legendary, oh, just kidding. <laughs> legendary cards are unlocked via champion mastery threshold. So they're changing that. So let's say you get to mastery level five with Strix. You get a legendary card for Strix. I think that's how it's gonna work now. Loadout cards have five levels instead of 10. The power of a level five card is the same as a level 10 card in Unbound. Okay, so what they're doing is just compensating for the crazy um, duplication system. So if you have a if you had a level 10 card in Cards Unbound, it's gonna act the same and give you the same stats as the power level five will now. Legendary cards no longer have levels, so it's just a flat uh, extra stuff that it does. Um, players have one starter deck filled out that they can do with as they please. Starter decks consist of f um, five level three cards determined by a deck item. Legend, all right, this is what I was talking about. Legendary cards and champion mastery. Legendary cards have been renamed talents. So instead of, it's just a talent now. So they're going for a complete rework. You can't level up that card anymore. And it's not even a card, it's just a talent. <laughs> Uh, and it will now be unlocked through champion mastery system. So you unlock it at 2, 8, and 12. So there's three talents per champion, I guess. Um, and probably the base one that you start off with. So four total. All champions will have one default talent. Uh, yeah, there we go. Players with existing accounts will automatically have all talents available to them. Awesome. Removed. So yeah, uh, if you're watching this, more than likely you already have a Paladins account. So you're going to get all the talents. So don't worry about um, getting to the levels to unlock them. Um, remove the level 25 mastery cap. There's now there's no longer no limit on champion masteries. 
redistributed mastery level XP rate to match the account XP rate. Players will now level through champion mastery and receive champion mastery unlocks quicker. Players will now be able to purchase champion mastery levels for gold at a rate of 1,000 gold for 20,000 experience. That's interesting. I don't... Eh, I'm okay with that. I mean, you gotta have enough gold to purchase the next level. I just... I guess you gotta do something with the abundance of gold you're gonna have, so this does kind of make sense. Um, but this is what I was talking about with the XP levels. Now, this doesn't do it justice. What I'm gonna do right now is put a couple pictures up to show you the difference between the level. I mean, you, you can just see it and look at it and pause it if you want right here. So you saw how crazy that is, the difference between the previous system and now. You, and we'll just go through here. So level one is the same, XP per level, level two, all of that. Um, a level two goes up a little more. This is actually a lot more confusing than the um, picture that I just put up. I actually don't know. I think this this isn't comparing. This is just telling you what it is now. But um, here's where all your rewards are. You get your second talent at two, MVP post at four, um, an emote at six, your third talent at eight, your fourth talent at 12. The obsidian skin is now at 14. The champion spray is at 18, and the cosmic skin is now at 20. The champion title is at 30. Keep in mind, although the you get like the cosmic skin and obsidian skin at later levels, um, it's going to take you a lot less time to get to these levels. You level up a lot quicker with a new system, which is what I was showing you with the pictures and stuff. Account rewards. With the removal of radiant chest, players will now be rewarded gold and diamond chest for account progression, starting account level 30 players will receive one gold chest every 10 levels and one diamond chest every 50 levels with the removal of radiant chest players will now earn 300 gold for each first one of the day in the following queues siege competitive and deathmatch the daily login bonus is going to be different so with day one day two day three all that you can see here 200 gold 400 600 800 1000 1200 and then on day seven you get 25 crystals and the quest boost so for the seventh consecutive day, it's just a little different. Tutorial reward. When with the removal of Radiant Chest, players will now receive 25,000 gold for completing the tutorial. Um, we now have lowered all the requirements for the daily quest. This is what I thought this was going to be. So win three games is now win one game. Play four games as frontline or damage support, whatever, is now play two games as that. Four games of deathmatch, two games of deathmatch. 40 kills to 25 kills, 200,000 health to 100,000 health. 75 eliminations to 50 eliminations, 20, uh, yeah, sorry, 250,000 damage to 150,000 damage, 600 objective time to 300 objective time. So they made leveling easier, they made daily quest easier, they made playing easier, they made building your layout easier, paladins is just easier. And I don't, I don't want that to seem like the game itself is easier. They're not changing much, if anything, in game. It's just how the game operates. They're making it a lot more smoother because we all know the uprising that happened with OB64. Um, added the option to dismiss all accus. Oh, yes. I love that. I hate that because especially when you, and at least when you were opening like Radiant Chest and getting cards, you had like 75 notifications and it was super annoying. Customizations. VIP, Androxus, Steam Demon, and Torvald Clockwork are in the current VIP rotation, which is, this is what they look like. This is the Androxus skin. And this is the clockwork. Pretty cool. Champions. Pip, we have the Arctic Collection, which is available in the gold chest. Includes champion skin, weapon, and spray. Looks like this. Pretty cool. Uh, I haven't done skin previews on Paladins yet. I do those in Smite. But I think I'm going to start for Paladins. The PTS will be up tomorrow, so be on the lookout for those sometime tomorrow. Rip OB64 sprays. Bad artwork spray pack is 2,000 gold, and when you buy it, you get these. You get the Rip OB64. Everyone has seen this already. You get the Inara skin, which is great. These are supposed to be bad sprays. Keep that in mind. You get Master Writing. Uh, it's Moji on top of his pet on top of a horse. Uh, you get Classic Barrack here. Uh, and I think that's he's in like Leon, um, Leon's dress or whatever you want to call it, and then you get this Grok one. So that is all the stuff. I think, what is it, 2,000 gold? Not a lot at all. Everyone should buy it because everyone's going to be compensated with this ridiculous amount, and that rip OB64 was priceless. Chest. Gold chest added Arctic, pick, 
Arctic Pip collection to it, and then the Diamond Chest added the Infiltrator and the Jutan Terminus skin. So now we got into balancing. We're almost through the patch. We got all of the good stuff down. Now it's just balancing time. Uh, support characters will now gain eliminations if their healing targets get the killing blow on an enemy. So little buff to supports there overall. And Drogsis card buying time no longer... Oh, they did this with a lot of people. This is, uh, I think Cassie had it. Yeah, so a lot of people have these ammo over time things. So no longer generates ammo over time. Um, it scales on a one-to-one -one basis now. Um, same with Marksman, Sleight of Hand. You can pause this and read it if you want. Um, but these three all revolve around the ammo thing. So, Fernando, adjust a champion portrait to display his face while you're in the selecting screen. So, a big buff to Fernando there. Intimidate everybody with that face. And Nara, Logstone, no longer... Oh, say, same with the ammo thing there. And Sheer, Genos. Genos gets an interesting change here. His Star Splitter now has a slight spread while firing. So... I'll give you a little more in-depth. Genos now starts at 100% accuracy. So his first shot is 100%. And then it slowly starts to dip off, basically. Knessa cards. Uh, well stock no longer um, generates ammo over time. Activating a presser mine generates a scale of 3 to 3. So same thing with there. Earthen, God, or Earthen Guard generates for her. Um, Ash had it with her seed shield. So you can see how they're um, adjusting this ammo thing. Uh, it's a little different. I don't know how it's going to work. We'll actually have to see it in-game before I can really make a judgment on it. Lex gets the same thing with his ammo. Pip no longer generates ammo over time. Same thing. Ruckus. All right, we finally have some different stuff. Ruckus emitter removed the slow from it. Uh, Ruckus has been one of the... I think Ruckus is the most popular champ. Nah, and Drogs just probably is. But Ruckus is definitely up there. He's just good. I don't really like him myself. But I hate playing against them. <laughs> Rocket Barrage no longer increases the damage of your missile launcher. And EMP renamed to Regenerative Alloy. Uh, a new effect while a new effect, sorry, while emitter is active, generate five to five ammo per second. So new ammo system for everyone pretty much. Willow gets the same thing, and Zen gets the same thing. Uh, a little bit different though. Dragon Oil lowered ammo increase from two per level to one. Um, probably to counteract the changes they made, and Viciousness lowered ammo restored from 2 per level to 1. Some bug fixes right here. Fix initial where sprayed would sometimes not appear. Uh, I'm actually not going to read through all these because they're no longer in the game, so what's the point of going over them? And Drogsis, buying time now properly regenerates ammo, uh, now properly reduces healing, now properly heals Lex upon killing his target, uh, fixed the description, so just some small bug fixes here, nothing too crazy. And we are done. This one's actually kind of important, though, for Victor. Uh, Shrapnel fixed an issue where Frag Grenade would not gain the increased projectile speed from the last patch. So if you were building, like, a grenade-focused layout for Victor, you were screwed. Um, so they definitely changed that. That is going to wrap it all. Wrap it up for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like, hit subscribe, leave a comment. Social media links are in the description. I cannot wait to try OB67. I... Cards Unbound grew on me, um, mainly because I just started grinding out, and I just, it grew on me. But now that it's gone, I'm not happy because I didn't care, but I definitely won't miss Cards Unbound, that's for sure. That is it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think. Are you excited for this patch? Did you like Cards Unbound? Did you hate it? Did it grow on you? Let me know. Until next time, peace.